we have another scandal in the British police establishment. And this time it's not just embarrassing, but it's also extremely damaging to ordinary people up and down this country. So this is a the system failure, let's just say. It was a breach inside the, uh, the policing structure and the establishments and the systems were completely messed up. A significant data breach has affected the Norfolk and Suffolk police forces in the UK, impacting approximately 1,230 individuals. By the way, these individuals were victims and witnesses. They were not criminals. The breach involves an un uh, unauthorized release of sensitive information. So this is people's private information about their private lives and these were primarily victims and witnesses who were approached by the police uh, at times. And uh, those, the, the private information of those people have now been uh, completely uh, stolen and essentially released. So we don't know exactly what's happened there. We're still trying to find out uh, whether this was uh, proactive or another mistake or something else. The latest updates that we have is that in terms of potential risks, the breach could potentially put officers, staff, and ongoing operations are at risk due to the exposure of sensitive data. Also, investigations are underway. Authorities have launched a, a, an investigation into the breach to determine its extent and the parties responsible. In terms of the response, the police forces are taking immediate steps to mitigate the risks uh, associated with the breach. I'm not really sure how they're doing this, but they're working to secure their systems. But that information has already been released, so you can't really mitigate the risk. Um, public statement, the police forces have also issued a statement acknowledging the breach and outlining their response. So is it one of those uh, statements that uh, oh, we are, we've learned from mistakes now? Let's just continue. Uh, we recently been talking about uh, the establishment in this country on this channel about other issues. And I said uh, I criticize the culture, the political culture. I say everything's and everybody is so reactionary instead of being proactive. Whether it's uh, our politicians or the police or any other institution, NHS, they wait for crisis to happen and then they react to it instead of actually uh, be proactive about things. And this is the whole problem. I'm not saying that um, you can predict what's going to happen. I'm not saying that you can prevent all mistakes and errors. I'm just saying that you can be more cautious. You can also, as I said, be proactive to do things to be, uh, make sure that if something like this happens, then you, it's not going to be a complete crisis. So this is what exactly what we have to do. Our intelligence community and security services are good at that. Since 7-7, since of course uh, what happened in New York in 2001, we are now having a more proactive intelligence service and security service. Why can't we have that, that discipline in everywhere else, especially uh, the, the NHS for example, and all the other services. Anyway, we had the Suffolk police coming out to say, that we would like to apologize that this incident occurred and we sincerely regret any concern that it may have caused the, uh, the people of Norfolk and Suffolk. I would like to reassure the public that procedures for handling the freedom of information requests made to Norfolk and Suffolk constabularies are subject to continuous review to ensure that all data under constabularies control is properly controlled. So essentially what they say is the that um, if you if you do an FOI request, Freedom of Information Act, we sometimes don't really check all the data, so we have accidentally released people's personal information. That simple. So that you should have known in the first place. That's not really some sort of hacking problem. That's not really something that uh, couldn't have been predicted. You literally released everything, and in, to, to a, a huge level, is essentially a human error at least unless someone was actually completely a bit of a mole inside the police and decided to uh, release that information as part of a, an FOI request, Freedom of Information. So uh, we're going to keep an eye on this story as usual with all the other stuff that happens in the country. Let me know your thoughts. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.